be. Alright, we good, man. Alright, show on, show on. Alright. Before I get started with this lesson, I like to give all praises and honor and glory that's due unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakadash. Double knowledge to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone who taught in his truth, and double side taste to your opium. The men that are prophesying and named throughout the four winds of this earth, pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Shall want to you, brothers. And to the Aqua, the few sisters that are listening, learning to you, I say Shawan. Let me push it back a little bit. All right. All right, about there. There we go. There we go. Good. We in there. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit of power. Y'all about Shin Yaw Shai. Little women to have five feet and as y'all about Shin Yaw Shai. Praise the lesson. We have to find it straight to a point. All right. So when heated times, man, things are heating up, man. Okay. Things are heating up. World War Three, World War Three is heating up, man. Russia, <laughs> hey man, Russia is about to go to war. And we're about to draw America into this next world war, man. Okay, so hey, things are moving rapidly fast, man. The days are speeding up. The days are being shortened for the elect's sake, man. So we're here. We're at the end of these. Hey, we're at the end of Esau's rulership, man. We're at the end of Esau's rulership, man. And, hey, things are speeding up rapidly, man. So, how about Shemiel Shah? He's on his way back, man. All right? Everything we said through the spirit and power, how about Shemiel Shah? coming to pass, man. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get into the scriptures. And, Lord, when I pray, let's be edified. All right? This is 2 Ezra chapter 7 and verse 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Whose time? Esau, Esau time. Like it says, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that follows, man. So we're at the end, man. Day of doom. All right, Jacob's trouble. All right, we're just spoken of in Jeremiah 37, and let's get it. All right? Let's get it. Because it's going to be a day and a time like no other, man. All right, you got the looming food shortages, empty shelves. So things are rapidly moving fast, man. All right? Let's uh read this. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, and I'm starting at verse 5. For thus said the Lord Yahabashim Yahshai, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. All right? This word should make you tremble, man, hearing these things, man. Food shortages, World War Three, the MOTB, okay? This word should make you tremble, okay? Because things are rapidly moving fast, man. And, hey, the prophecies are not slacking, man, okay? Let's uh, read on. Verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all face turn into paleness. Verse 7. The point. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Only the elect are going to be saved out of these times of trouble, man. Okay? Look, the only thing left are going to survive these times, man, that we're coming into, man. Okay? So the Lord Yahabashim Yahshua is going to make a way for his elect. Okay? So let's get back. Uh, what was that? Right here. Okay? So it's describing a time like no other, man. Okay? This is, uh, let's get back to 2 Israel chapter 7, verse 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immorality for to come, wherein corruption is past. All right. Like I said, Jake, again. Well, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. All right. The beginning of righteousness on earth. The earth is being healed. Okay. The kingdom of heaven. All right. That's going to be ruled by our uh, big brother, Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12 apostles. And 144,000, all right, in righteousness, okay? The earth is going to finally be at rest under the rulership of Esau, even, man, all right? Under these damn devils. These devils ain't going to be, hey, not ruling anymore, okay? It's going to be in rest under the rulership of the Hebrew Israelites. That's what I was trying to say. Slocky about that. I'm sorry. All right, got my words messed up. But, hey, under the rulership of the Hebrew Israelites, the earth is going to be healed, Everything's going to go back to its rightful place. 
Things are going to return back in this rightful order, etc., man. The air, the water, the food is going to be <laughs> it's going to be good. Our women is going to be in their right mind. It, all the Israelites are going to come back in their right mind. Two-thirds are going to down this side, though. All right? Two-thirds are going to down this side. They're going to come back in their right mind. All right? But they're going to have to be born through the laws of the elect. Okay? So everything is going to be put back in righteousness, man. All right? No more wickedness. No more alphabet agenda. No more sin. No more this damn devil trying to <laughs> poison everybody and poisoning every damn thing, poisoning the air, the food, the food, the water, you name it, man. This man has done all manners of wickedness, all right? And two-thirds of the years, like, you support this damn man. And this man, he can see his fall. He's on his way out, man. Esau Edom is on his way out. And he, hey, he can see it, okay? But he thinks that the Lord is still with him, man. Hey, look, man, the Lord is not dealing with you Edomites, and you Edomites about to find that out real soon, man. The Lord is not dealing with you, all right? You think the Lord is dealing with you? I was on the, and speaking of which, I got a testimony, man, all right? I was on the bus this morning, just hearing this Edomite talking about, uh, you know, you know, they call on the name of Jesus, you know that damn name, all right? Which is not the name of the Lord, the name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, the name of his son is Yahweh Shai. Okay, so look, <clears throat> me and this Edom might talk, all right, talking about, <clears throat> about, you know, hey, it's salvation in this, and you know, you know how these Edomites love to talk, man. Look, salvation is not for you Edomites, man. Okay, the Lord is not dealing with you, all right? He never was dealing with y'all, okay? And y'all gonna find that out real soon, man. Real talk, okay? <laughs> Well, especially when the chariots show up and start delivering the Israelites the whole full net, man. <laughs> then you Edomites gonna really find out, all right? Especially when he comes back to shed blood, man. Because hey, Yahweh Shai is coming back to shed blood, all right? And you Edomites, man. That says the scriptures. Isaiah the sixty third chapter tells you that, all right? So let's read on, man. Uh, Second Ezra chapter seven and verse forty three. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immorality for the for to come for where went <coughs> <it's not again. coughs> excuse me wherein corruption is past incontemperance is at an end infidelity is cut off righteousness is grown and the and truth is sprung up so the truth is springing up man throughout the four corners of the earth and this devil can no longer hide himself man all right but we're at the end of this devil's rulership, man. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 7. Then answer I and said, What shall be the part in the sunder of the times, or when shall it be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first hell first the hill of East, hand held first the hill of Esau. Okay? And that's just symbolizing of Jacob pulling down Esau. Hey, we got already got our hand on this devil's heel. We pulling them down, all right, spiritually, all right? The physical pull down is going to come when Yahweh Shai comes back, man, all right? When we're going to, hey, when the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to, hey, physically pull these devils down, all right? He's also going to use his men to do so, okay? So, hey, the physical pull down, ain't, the physical take down ain't going to come until Yahweh Shai comes back, man. All right, so right now, we're spiritually pulling this devil down by telling him that he's going into captivity, all right, along with the other heathen nations, man. And he's going to be, hey, they're going to be under suggestion under the Hebrew Israelites, man, okay? All right, verse 9, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. All right, so hey, his time is coming to an end, and I was, and our rulership is about to begin, man. All right? That's why you see all these prophecies coming to pass, man. All these prophecies are coming to pass, man. Hey, <laughs> this place is on its way out, man. This place is on its last leg. This is Isaiah 47 and verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O daughter, virgin of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Talking about Babylon, Great America. 
this place is no longer being looked at as a as a righteous nation. This place is now being frowned down upon, man. All these nations are waking up to Babylon, the great America, man. Okay? People waking up throughout the four corners of the earth, these nations. That's why Russia is, hey, getting ready to more cyber attacks. Okay? You got China that's stopping, <coughs> excuse, stopping the imports of goods coming from coming in to Babylon, the great America. Hey, this place is through, man. Which is why this is going to lead to more food shortages, all right, power outages, you name it, man. Chaos. And chaos is about to pursue in this place, man. Okay? All right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Verse 2. Take the millstones and grind them and grind mill. Uncover thy knots. Make bare the legs. Uncover the thighs. Pass over the rivers. Verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So Yahweh Shai is now coming back to me. A world evil that's ruled by Edomites as a man. He's coming back as an, a spiritual angelic being, man, on that fathership chariot, okay? And he's coming back to do all kinds of damage, man, to your kingdom, Esau. And hey, the time is near, okay? Verse 4. As for our Redeemer, who is Yahweh Shai, the glory of Yahweh Shai, host is his name, the Holy One of Israel. <coughs> Excuse me. Verse 5. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the child deeds, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. Okay, this is talking about America. Babylon the Great, man. So this place is on its last leg, man. This place is on its way out, and it is on its way out fast. Okay? This place is on its way out fast, man. And, hey, there's nothing that you eat and mice can do about it. But whine and complain, <laughs> which is all y'all do anyway. Y'all doing that about the uh the CRT man, the critical race theory, which is actually critical race uh facts man, critical race history. All right, you complaining about that? All right, you don't want your history to be known. Don't want your true history to come out. So you trying to, you know, brothers didn't did lessons on it. I did lesson. I did a lesson on it. Where uh, the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, is trying to create a uh, bill to, uh, you know, to keep so-called white folks from feeling guilty about what they've done in the past. No, man. You need a mice of guilty, man. You can't hide what you've done. Everything you've done, hey, you're going to have to face it, okay? It's coming back to bite you, all right? So, hey, <clears throat> you don't want that light to be shined upon you, all right? Let me get a quick one. I ain't gonna water right quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so not you. Man, you devils don't want anything to come out about your past, man. Everything about you is coming out, man. From your wicked past, from what you did to the Hebrew Israelites. All right, that's why you're taking down the statues. You took down the statue of Theodore Roosevelt. Because Theodore Roosevelt with the uh the statue, all right, you all know what that statue looks like with Theodore Roosevelt on a horse, and he got the two Jakes on each side, uh, the so-called Negro, which is the tribe of Judah, on the uh, left-hand side, and Gad on his right-hand side. That goes to show you the, who the true Israelites are. So now you're taking it down to hide who, the, who you are. And, of course, to try to hide who the true Hebrew Israelites are, who you brought over here in the captivity, man, in Babylon, the great America. But it's too late. It's too late now, man. Hey, we already know, all right? <clears throat> and, hey, the elect is waking up, all right? Through the spirit and power of y'all about shot. The elect is waking up, man, okay? Verse 6. Let's read Isaiah 476. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancients hath thy heavenly laid thy yoke. And you did that, man. You devils didn't show us no mercy. And that's why you're going to receive judgment without mercy. Let's get that. Let's go to James 2. <clears throat> James 2 and 13, man. All right. For he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. Everything you devils did to the Hebrew Israelites, man, every day, everything that you devils did to us, man, hey, it's going to come back on you sevenfold, man. You're going to have to receive double for what you've done, all right? So, hey, 
Don't be mad now. <laughs> okay? Let's go back to Isaiah. <clears throat> 47 and verse 7. And thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. All right, you devils think that a Babylon, the great America, is going to go on forever. All right, Psalm pertaining to Psalm 49 11. Let's get that. Let's go to Psalm 49. <clears throat> Psalms 49, verse 11. That inward thought is, all right, that's what you devils, your mind, in your thought, in your mind, you believe this. Uh, Psalms 49, 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. You devils believe that you're going to be in rulership forever. You're going to continue, all right? Let's go back to Isaiah 47. <clears throat> And let's read verse 7 again. And thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not come, not, that didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Verse 8. Therefore hear this now, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that saith in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. This is Babylon, the great America, man. The pride, man. Like it's, and hey, especially you Edomites, man. You Edomites are so proud to this absolutely crazy, man. You devils don't think that, hey, that Babylon, the great is going to end. All right? Like I said, who shall bring me down to the crown? And you know what? Let's go on and get that. <laughs> hey, that's the spirit. All right? Uh, there we go. Let's get this. <clears throat> Actually, let's see. I'm going to start at verse... I'm going to start at verse 1. Obadiah verse 1. The vision of Obadiah. Thus said the Lord Yahabashim Yahshai power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahabashim Yahshai. And an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us arise... Let us rise up against her in battle. Verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. You devils are being despised now, man. You devils are hated now throughout the four corners of the earth, man. No one likes you anymore. You're being exposed. There's a big light being shined on you. No one loves hey, no one likes you anymore, man. But you wanna come to <clears throat> but you wanna come and talk about all this love, this love, this love, that. No, man. What what was the love when Israelites were being tortured, hung from trees, man? What was the love when baby was being fed to alligators? Men being butt broken, man. Alright? Man, you devils done done so much, man. So much. And you devils hey. You devils don't want your history to come out, but it's coming out, man. Everything about you is coming out. <clears throat> you didn't consider the light in. That's why the Lord Yahweh Shine is heating things up throughout the four corners of the earth, man. You devils know your time is up, all right? <clears throat> Tensions ain't going to ease. Things are not going to ease up, okay? With Russia, the food shortages, none of that, man. It's going to get worse. And I got a lesson I'm going to be doing Talking about those two particular subjects, man. When they talking about farming, all right. I forgot the article. I just had to do a lesson on it, man. But you know, look, man. Things are about to get worse, man. The food prices are going up. Things are expensive now. All right. So hey, it's over with. Okay. You devils are despised, man. Throughout the four corners of the earth, man. There's nothing you can do about it. No one likes you anymore. All right. <laughs> Verse 3, the pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwells in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? That's your pride. You think no one can bring you down. You can't think you can't be touched. You about to be touched, man. All right? Babylon, the great America, is about to be touched, and you either might about to be touched when your house shy returns. Okay? Hey. We're going to wait on your house shot to come back. We're going to do nothing. All right. Verse 4. 
though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, this will I bring thee down, said the Lord Yahabashim Yahashai. So the Lord Yahabashim Yahashai is bringing you devils down, man. Okay? But you devils don't think that you can't be touched. Let's go read this again. Isaiah 47, verse 8 again. Therefore hear this now, thou that art givest to, given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. All right? You devils dwell carelessly, man. Okay? That saith in thy heart, which is your mind, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. Verse 9. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood. Okay? Yeah. It's over with, man. Babylon the Great is about to be destroyed. This place is about to go up in smokes, man. Okay? Yeah. Babylon is about to be hit with World War Three missiles, laser cherry fire when your house shower returns. This place is about to go up in smokes, man. Ain't nothing going to dwell here but desert creatures, man. Okay? All right? Let's read Isaiah 47 and 9 again. But these two things... But these two things shall come to thee in one like in a moment in one day. The loss of children in widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. All right. <clears throat> Verse 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. And that's how you devils feel, man. You think the Lord Yahabashim Yahashai don't see you. That's why you're doing all this wickedness, man. All right? Your boy Joe Biden, all right? He are, you know, the reporter, all right, that was trying to talk to him and interview him about what's going on with inflation and what this devil said behind a camera. And think the camera wasn't playing, man. All right? He said, that's a great access. More inflation. <laughs> and he called that reporter a stupid SOB. And you Americans in general are stupid, man. And you really are. You Americans in general are stupid, okay? Because, hey, these elites, they got you, all right? You believe that uh, Joe Biden was for you, man. And you finding out that, hey, Joe Biden is just doing the bidding of the elites, man, okay? So, hey, <clears throat> it's over with. Okay, verse 10 again. But thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none is beside me. Verse 11 Therefore shall evils come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, <clears throat> which shall not which thou shall not know, all right? And that's what's going to happen, man. And that's about to happen. Like I say, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon you, man. <clears throat> and <clears throat> Excuse me. Destruction is going to come upon you devils, man, all right? And it's going to come upon you suddenly, man. And you ain't going to know which, <laughs> and you ain't going to know where it came from, man. We going to know. Yeah, I wish I did it. All right, you're going to eventually know who truly jacking y'all asses up, man, pretty soon. And it's your how about shooting y'all shot, man. All right? You devils think that the Lord is for you? Shh, get the hell out of here, man. No, man. The Lord is not for you Edomites, man. He ain't for the heathen nations either. He's only for the 12 tribes of Israel, really starting with the elect, because two-thirds are going to die on this side, okay? The Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, but that's for another uh, lesson. That's for another lesson, though, all right? Let's stay on subject. All right, but hey, you might as gonna find out, man. All right, <laughs> and you're already getting a glimpse of it. But wait till hey, things gonna really turn up, man. Okay, and that's why you devils trying to move fast with this NWO, this New World Order. Okay, because you know the time is running out for you, man. All right, like it says in Revelation twelve twelve, you should come down with great wrath because you know that you have but a short time. You have a short time to bring in this NWO. All right, to bring in your so-called NWO, your new world order, but it ain't gonna come. Well, it's gonna all come to naught, man. So hey, do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do because it ain't gonna happen. 
Okay? <clears throat> verse 12. Isaiah 47 and verse 12. Stand now with thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein hast thou wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, if so be thou shalt be able to profit. If so be thou may, if so be thou mayest prevail. Alright? The Lord is mocking you devils, man. Stand now with your enchantments, okay? Stand now with your enchantments. Alright? So hey, stand now with your enchantments. And them enchantments that you're trying to put on everybody ain't working. Your witchcraft isn't working anymore. As a matter of fact, I got a scripture for that too. Because, hey, like it says in, um, what is it? I think it's Numbers 23, verse 23, where it says, here it is, yeah, con. This is Numbers 23 and verse 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. So you can't enchant the elect. You already got two thirds, but you ain't enchanting the elect, man. Okay? You're not going to get the Lord's elect. All right? So, hey. <laughs> You devils are finished, man. All right? Let's read this again. Numbers 23 and verse 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what have you, how wrong? Okay? So there is no enchantment against the elect, man. Okay? And as a matter of fact, let's go to... I just want to read that first. <clears throat> Nahum chapter 3 and verse 4. Because of the multitude of thy slogging. Let me read that again. Nahum 3 and verse uh, and verse 4. Because of the multitude of the horn of 